uh, I can tell you about uh, I think it is it is about eight or nine years ago when uh, someone wrote on the eye on the future and asked how old did I <laughs> say the planet itself was and uh, this person was sort of uh, uh, pushing me to a place where I would make a statement. Well, today again, I will also go to this because spiritually it is of great empowerment and importance. Millions of people here upon the planet live in that state of confusion. And uh, maybe this will strike up a chord with all of you. Imagine that you came all from different galaxies, from different parts in the universe over, let's say, 75 million years, maybe more. But when I spoke about the time of Zaratustra Zoroaster, I go back to that also again because religion has played the game and uh, some of these uh, very uh, lovely people who were not spiritually open or in the know they gave many people some serious confusion well i go back to the time of zarathustra and i still say the same thing it most likely and of course we know religions have changed the time upon the planet and the counting of years. So could it be that Zarathustra was here upon the earth 11,000 years ago? Because we know 12, approximately 12,000 years ago we had a polar adjustment, a re polar readjustment of this planet in the universe and we also know when that took place, Atlantis went and, in, and Atlantis was humongous. It wasn't just a little place like some people think Vancouver Island is. Atlantis was humongous. And uh, we know that a great chunk of Atlantis went all the way and Japan originally was the main end of Atlantis. And so from Japan all the way on to the Middle East, there went the continent of Atlantis. So, of course, yes, Greece, Greece, ancient Greece, was connected to Atlantis. And now we go to a place where we also must come to understand that in ancient Greece, hundreds of thousands of years ago there were people living there and that there were buildings in ancient Greece that are older than 12 and 14,000 years still in the sand, still parts uh, uh, hidden. We also know that no one ever has seriously enough approach uh, Iran that we know in and around Iran there are parts that are 25, 30, 40,000 years old but we do go back to the time that Zoroaster, Zarathustra, Zutusht was upon this planet. Now we know his mother was a lady of great wisdom and great compassion. We also know that Zarathustra, his mother and his father, and of course during those times people, because of the conditions, either traveled by donkey, because that was, or horse, that was the way of going through desert sands, or camel, they may, have, may even have gone by camel, who knows, or maybe they had a small horse or they had a donkey. But I know in some of the Egyptian temples there are the depictions of Zoroaster, his mother, and his father. And you can see in some of these pictures how very, very tall his father was. And that comes to another thing 
life as you know it today. The turmoil upon the planet and the changes. Let us go and take a look at this because I will take you back, I promise, to what I know from ancient times out of my uh, soul travel, my spiritual travel uh, of having been uh, out of this body and also the times I was, the body was declared dead. Now, that's, that's very important. Another thing I want to stir you up, forgive yourself. Learn to see the faults and mistakes and whatever you have made in this life and also go from there so you can forgive others. Learn to live from compassion. And please don't be so selfish. If you know someone is in serious hardship, get off your fanny and share and love. That's the number one thing.